What's going on everybody? Kwaku here. Today, I'm going to take a look at the feedback hub that is on Windows 10. Now, the feedback hub encompasses a lot of things. Basically, it's, it's, it's a simple layout, but it encompasses pretty much you being able to type in exactly sorted feedback to Microsoft, which lets them help improve products and get suggestions and things like that. So let's jump into it and see how this app works. So here it is, here is the feedback hub. So this is obviously the preview build of the feedback hub, but it's, it's relatively similar. Uh, basically what the feedback hub is, is a place, like I said in the intro, to share feedback and or suggestions to the Windows community, especially to Microsoft since they're the ones that made it. And so that way they can kind of file that away and organize it nicely. And a lot of the times what happens is that the the more upvotes the feedback gets, um, the more likely they are to really take notice of it and the more likely it is to get implemented into Windows. Um, obviously, the Feedback Hub isn't necessarily for Windows because they do have a Feedback Hub on Xbox as well. Um, but for the most part, everything you'll do on Windows itself for feedback will come through this hub. So you can see right off the bat where we see is welcome. And on this main screen here, this is the home tab. Uh, what you see here is you can give us feedback. And to make Windows better, you can report problems, suggest a feature, and then you see what's new. Uh, one thing I can already tell right off the bat is that they haven't updated this because for some reason, they're actually, there's no talk about build 21, uh, 21313 which is the current build that I am running down there. So I'm not sure why I would think you would think that they would probably connect Microsoft, the windows blogs to this and that way it just updates on its own. But seeing how this is, it's probably, um, this is probably a separate entity on its own. They, they pre-type everything cause this is not everything there. See, it says, check out the documentation here to view all the features. So it's not exactly that, but going through, you can see the what's new. You can go down and see all the stuff that came out when it came out. 12.11, we got to search for emojis and all that stuff. You scroll down and come back up. On the right side, you have uh, some of your information, your personal information. So it'll say your name, whatever name you're, it, you are on your Microsoft account. It'll say whether or not you're a Windows Insider or not. It'll also say uh, when you became a Windows Insider, which for me was way back in 2014. So it's been a little over four, six years. Um, it says your current build, which is the RS pre-release build 21313 is what I'm on. You can rate your build, which brings up this pop-up screen here, which lets you rate your build. You can rate your PC, which how likely are you to recommend this PC to a friend or colleague? Obviously, I would recommend this computer that I have currently to my colleague, but this doesn't really matter since this is a custom hand-built computer that I made. Uh, going further, you have your feedback activity. So it tells you how much feedback you've given to this uh, hub here. So it says I've given seven and I've had four upvotes on my feedback. I don't really share too much feedback on it personally. I make videos for it, but they do want people to um, definitely on top of making videos. If you're going to give feedback, please put it on the hub uh, so that way they can see it easier because they have an organized pane that they can see on their end that lets them fix the feedback. You got achievements, but before I click on that link, I'm going to scroll down a little more. You got some quick links here. It's the Windows Insider website and some other things, the Windows blogs and all that stuff. So let's look at achievements. Achievements is that last tab on this uh, menu here. And the achievements, what's weird about it, it looks like my picture showed up and then it disappeared, but this is a preview build of the hub. Um, but you see my name and the usual stuff and it says where you're at. You're at the Windows Insider achievements. And you can group by category. You can just make it a, a combined mess, which honestly, I like the category. My organized OCD side um, likes having it nice and organized in here. So you can see your different badges, what you have here. So your achievements or badges, what I'm going to call them. You can see your flight major. You click it and it says flight seven. And it says you have 19H1, Windows Insider, Windows 10 Insider preview builds, uh, flight lieutenant, and so on. It says um, 19H1. Not even sure what that even really means, the seven and the one, not necessarily. But you can see that what each thing does, you fly to 21, 20 H1, uh, fly to 18 plus 20 H1. I'm not sure what all this stuff really means. Someone's probably going to tell me and it's going to make perfect sense. Um, 
Next up here, you got your feedback uh, achievements, which is your achievements for giving feedback. You can click on what happens when you get, do you submit 10 feedbacks for Windows? Trendsetter, if you submit, if you receive 10 upvotes. Uh, feedback Phenom, uh, submit 50 feedback posts. And then you got your born leader, it says receive 50 upvotes on Windows feedback posts. So it goes through like that for everything. It says I've been an insider since there for milestones. So when I ship different things, um, first birthday was in 2016, I believe. I don't know if that makes sense. Oh, first birthday for Windows 10. Founding member says they're registered for the Windows Insider program in its first year and currently flighting builds. So there's a whole lot there. You got the Windows 10 anniversary there, update, uh, bug bash that I participated in and so on that you can share to anybody. So that's the achievements hub. Um, now I'm going to go back to the next thing here. So which you've got all feedback. So this is probably the most important view here. In fact, I'm going to go full screen for this. This is probably the most important thing that you're going to see on this application. Um, this is where when you add feedback, it'll appear. This is where you can view feedback. This is where you can view feedback. You haven't submitted yet. You see it all up there. So you see everybody's feedback. You can sort it out by different things. You can filter it. You can, uh, by device, whether it's PC, mobile, or HoloLens, which I wish I had a HoloLens. Microsoft, if you would love to send me a HoloLens, that'd be great. Um, and then you got the categories. There's a whole bunch of categories. They've really kind of like ironed out so many categories of what um, kind of feedback you can send. So let me do an example before um, I click on my own feedback. So if I want to get feedback, uh, you can either do it here or you can go back home and you can report a problem or whatever it is. So let's say we want to report a problem. Uh, and whatever your problem is, um, let's say control panel is acting weird okay that's a very uh in fact i didn't even spell acting right there we go that's a very vague statement and they don't want you to be so vague they want you to be more specific so they can really kind of replicate what's going on and they can replicate it and then if it's a widespread thing that everyone's having it'll definitely get fixed very quickly or hopefully very quickly and then you can see it says explain it in more detail give as much as you can your feedback is public so don't include personal information that's a core thing um so you can do that um so it says add more detail and then you can in there you can write what exactly is going on um it keeps closing it, it keeps closing when i hit networking Let's, let's say that it doesn't actually do that, but I'm going to type that in just as an example. I'm not actually going to submit this, uh, hit next. You can see stuff here. It says the category based on your feedback. So what they do is use, they use an algorithm to figure out, uh, based on what you typed and what your feedback is, where this can go. So it says security and privacy. It's a problem. Obviously, cause I clicked problem. It says security and privacy is what they thought with your Microsoft account. That is not actually true. It's, it's a completely different issue. So we're going to say it's under settings and then we're going to go deeper that and say that maybe this is um, maybe maybe this is under networking and wireless or maybe this is under something else. Let's say it's under, I don't know, the settings homepage because it's not a networking issue. It's it's an issue with an app on the settings. Um, and obviously settings is essentially control panel. So then going deeper, you can see category recommendations that they have for it, which none of these make any sense. Um, probably what I typed is just not right, but we're going to hit next anyway. And then it says here, find similar feedback. Um, so you, it says adding your experience to existing feedback can help us understand it better. So basically one person has issue with their control panel closing a lot. Um, and they say it's because they clicked on, uh, this link. And then I say I have my control panel closing a lot and it's because of another link in control panel. That means that there's probably something up with the control panel, but not everybody can understand. Not, not everybody can, will have the same like vision of what's going on, like why it's happening. So they're just going to get a lot of that similar feedback together and then really try to figure out what's going on with control panel. So they got a whole lot of things here. Um, obviously none of this stuff, um, makes any sense to what I'm talking about. So I'm just going to hit next. And then going deeper, it says add more details. You can prioritize this as a high severity. So if you do that, you should really not do that unless it's like a it's like a day zero bug that can really like make or break someone's system or multiple people's systems. Um, but for the most part, it's not. So we'll say 
says, which of the following best describes your problem? It's a, is it a problem with missing personal data, inability to use my PC, important functionality not working? Let's say it's that because control panel is important. And if it doesn't work, then there's some things you just can't fix on your computer unless you rewipe the entire thing. You can add pictures, uh, screenshots, and, or recreate your problem. And basically what this recreate your problem will do is it'll start a recording when you click it and it will let you click on everything that the problem is and then you hit stop recording when it's done and then that way they see that you clicked on these exact things and the problem happened and that gives them a diagnostic of yes this this is happening and this is the exact thing that's going on and then in that feedback they'll also have more data about your computer to make sure that like maybe you did something and your computer is not a genuine product or whatever it is they'll be able to figure that out that's only if you save uh, diagnostic copy of attachments and things like that and then when you hit submit it'll go in to this screen here so my feedback here I've submitted seven things of feedback and right here I said add groups and friends feed to the new Xbox app on mobile um, currently it's gotten three upvotes and it's because the old Xbox app on mobile if you guys already know it didn't have uh, or, or it did have the ability to join parties to send friend requests and do a bunch of things in groups and do your um xbox live clubs and things like that you could do all that and now all of a sudden you can't i'm not sure if you can now but that was three months ago that it was upvoted and i uploaded it let's see when i uploaded it i put it in three months ago yeah so you can see that stuff that was my suggestion i do a lot of suggestions windows prompts for updating through although i have set active hours that's a thing that i had over a year ago and i said it's a category for install and update di downloading installing and configuring windows update so there's some things that i did and uh that's essentially what it'll look like when you get upvotes let's say these ones that have upvotes so when you get an upvote you'll see it there it'll say we've gotten it and it tells you what you do with it what they do with their feedback if you've gotten crazy upvotes like some of these people here um like this one here or if i want to do let's say upvotes so it's loading the highest upvotes this one says I want to see placeholder files in file explorer for all of my OneDrive content this has received a ridiculous 41,619 upvotes and 88 comments you click it and you even saw back there before I even click it it says an official response has been posted which means it got so noticed they sent an official response and they tell you what they did so Microsoft response they sent that response and it was this stephanie m the microsoft engineer the change they made to do it based on the feedback um they it says they're ready to try on your current build if there's more we can look into please leave a comment so this feedback got so high up there in upvotes they made a change they responded they made a change in a build and uh lo and behold hopefully it does work i've never actually seen the difference because i didn't pay attention but that's what happens. And it's same thing for OneDrive uh, storage policy limits. Um, they've got the feedback. They haven't gotten a Microsoft official response, but they've gotten the feedback and that's a uh, high trending feedback. And then one other one here, you see a suggestion that an official response has been done. And then, yeah, so going deeper in, going a little further, the next tab here, you got announcements. Again, that is the announcements page that tells you about every build and every little thing they do on here. It's mainly just builds and issues that go on. And then you got quests. Quest is an interesting one before I close out the video. And basically what Quest does is it essentially is just for you to try out different things. So it says w install WSL with one command, uh, find hotels with Bing Maps and little things like that. It's kind of just... To teach you how to use the computer a little bit uh, and then you got your account button which i won't click on and then you got this settings which is tells me that i'm in the feedback hub preview i can enable notifications on new quests announcements and new activity on my own feedback there's a light and dark theme you can do advanced diagnostics save diagnostics on your local computer and you can just see other things including check for updates which ironically although you can go to the microsoft store here you can also check for updates directly in the app itself which is pretty dope so yeah that is the heavy thickness that is the feedback hub there's a whole lot with it but they have it in just about everything that has an insider build for um they have a kind of feedback hub for you to send feedback out um and built into this one on windows is even the edge stuff too so you can narrow it to just edge and it'll work that way too so yeah that was a long video take it in pieces obviously 
Um, but hope you guys enjoyed it. I was really just wanting to get this one out there because uh, being that Windows Insider VIP, uh, one of them, uh, there's some things that I just never see on YouTube that people talk about. They, people don't talk about certain things, and I wanted to get it out there. It was stuck in my head. So here it is, the feedback hub. Although it's in preview, these things pretty much apply to the regular one too. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed it. Take care. Thank you.